Hello, my name is Jerry and welcome to 3D HP. I wanted to show you a new project I've been working on. A bigger spray booth. I supersized it. Probably a year, year and a half ago off Amazon, I had bought a small plastic uh, spray booth that you fold open and when you're done with it, you can close it up like a suitcase and put it under the counter or take it with you if you want to go somewhere. But a lot of my models, since I supersize them and make them too big, uh, you know, I have to paint them outside and take my airbrush outside. They don't always fit in here. Now, whenever I prime anything uh, with enamels or spray with enamels, of course I go out back. I don't want that kind of odor in the house. But acrylic paints, I have no odor, no problem. So I got this, what I did with the spray booth on Amazon is uh, all the sides are built out of plastic. As seen here, I've got all the sides right here. They just fold open. And there's little tiny plastic uh, steel pins that are pressed in place. You can take a screw, a nail, or any kind of a sharp little tool, and I basically grabbed it, I set it on it at an angle with a hammer, and I tapped all those pins out. And once I got done, I just had the box, as you'll see here on the screen. I'll show you a picture of what it'll look like before and after. Then once I was done getting it all taken apart, I went down to Lowe's. I wanted to buy some half-inch MDF. They were completely out of it for some unknown reason. I guess people are hoarding MDF now. So I bought some part of half-inch particle board. I got out my skill saw and my table out front, and I cut down two by two by two sides all the way around. Uh, drilled uh, three holes in the side, pre-drilled holes where I could run my screws in. And then basically, I took each piece and I put them upright on the table on end. I used, uh, where is it at? Elmer's wood glue, but you could use uh, Gorilla Glue. There's a lot of kinds of glues that people like to use for wood projects. I used Gorilla Glue, I glued it together, and I put the screws in it. And after I did all four sides, basically, I left it dry overnight, and then I had an open top and an open bottom. And then I came along the next day, I took my box, I laid it on it, and I cut it out, made a template, took my skill saw and a hand saw, and I cut it out very carefully, glued that together and put screws in it. And then I got some Loctite power grab that I use on a lot of projects around the house. And then I cocked all the seams really well on the inside. Then I let that sit overnight and dry. And then I went on Amazon. I bought a two-foot LED. Around my computer room here and in my kitchen, I've got four-foot LEDs that are really bright. I love these things. And they burn almost no power. So I put a two-foot LED in here, running in diagonally. Then I drilled a hole in the side and, you know, that's pretty much it but you know it's a great box I needed to make another video so here's a video and I thought somebody might be interested in seeing what I did um, yes I could have used a cardboard box a lot of people would probably just use a big cardboard box for a spray booth yes it would work perfectly fine but I wanted something a little nicer than a cardboard box so I went and spent 20 bucks and I bought some uh, particle board here like I say I, I would have preferred MDF but particle board will work fine it's a little more crumbly it breaks a little easier than particle board uh, our particle board is is basically it's glued together sawdust and MDF is basically really thick compressed cardboard and when I turn let me turn it on here so you can hear it now on the back of my counter here I have a gap probably an inch and a half two inches away from the wall so I can run cords and wires the hose that comes off the back of this unit simply runs over to that gap and all the air is exhausted basically down the wall to the floor. I don't have it going into a bucket or anything because all the paint particles, or 90% of the paint particles, wind up in the filter. When the filter gets full, if I don't replace it, I'll just take it to the sink and I'll wash it out with soap and water real good and dry it and then put it back in and I can use it over and over and over. You know, you can order filters on Amazon, you can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, you can fabricate something else to work. Pretty much anything will work for a filter that's designed to be a filter and uh, to tell, I haven't used it yet on any airbrush projects well actually yes I did I used it on my Black Panther helmet and I sprayed my Black Panther let me turn that off Anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I know this was a really fast, quick video, but I wanted to show you the new spray booth that I uh, came up with instead of using a cardboard box. So please like and subscribe, and I'll be coming out with more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.